Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Tuesday, January 31st, 2023 crosswords. And go for that 1,068-day streak. So here is your spoiler alert for the Tuesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, gray, GMC, reads, antic, uh, not sure. Menu, oh, catch, dice, and scar, yucca, there. Sky is gray on a rainy day. Something a restaurant makes to order. A little question mark clue there. Catch, dice, and scar, played by Jeremy Irons. Yucca. Yucca? <laughs> yucca, yucca, yucca. It's, uh... I guess people know how to pronounce it. I always said yucca, but yucca seems right. All right. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Eric Agar today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription and uh, sort of a star-studded start to the week. David Steinberg and Eric Agard are both editors at various venues, as well as veteran cr crossword constructors. Um, yeah, so let's see what uh, Eric Agard has in store for us on this Tuesday. Let's get into it. Enlivens, and this is PST. Not sure about this. Addis Baba is in Ethiopia. Closed mouth doesn't get fed. fed. Enlivens, peps up. Not too long from now. Tried, tried really hard. Okay. Campus settings must be UVA. Nuisance is a pest, so this is Strive. Up two is Till, probably sluice with flutes. Toasts, this is Oro, Ash Wednesday, cause of some playing static. This is Tulane in New Orleans, and just sports. First up there, giant narrative that maybe got giants and elves as well. Hollow, hollow, delicious. I've been wondering. Suffix, this is a thon. Three toad sloth. If insects, I guess it's entomology. Choose is opt. Shellfish that may be served cooked or raw. I think oyster. Fantasy something. Tree whose pods contain a sweet tasting pulp. Honey something. This is reap. Luke Cage's title. No idea. This is a mint. Chanteuse. Chart topping hits. Fantasy, honey, hero. Mariah Carey. So what was this again? Not sure. Queen of all media, Oprah. Tripoli is the capital of Libya. Curd-based drink. Not sure. Proverbs. Uh, strove. Someday soon. Okay. This is hair. Oreo O's, I believe. Language which hello is Kia Ora. Stately trees are elms. It's mostly Maori lists. Delta Sigma Theta is a sorority. Shorten. This is a shrug. These are signs. Truncate. Read to something, say yes. Del deliver us from Eva, probably. This is an aerial. Ways. Yvette. Okay. Not being manually operated. Maybe on auto. This is Costco. <laughs> Cat Cafe. Per over coffee. That's cute. Um, this is Omaha. Ow, that hurt. Uh, maybe it just fly. Como, como esta usted? Kuna matada. TCU is right. All hat and no cattle. Never heard of that. This is an orca. Eos. Yeah, I saw. Honey locust. Fantasy saga. And hero of fire. No. Hero for hire. Shug. Just missed that. Or misread that. Alright, so we've got a Mariah Carey theme. But, to be honest, I don't know these Mariah Carey songs. <laughs> but if you're a, you know, even a medium time viewer of this channel, thanks for watching, by the way. Thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it. 
My numbers have been going up lately. Uh, exciting to watch. Uh, anyway, uh, you know that pop music, just music in general, is really not my forte. I think I just about maybe hero, <laughs> I can imagine. But someday, honey and fantasy. Okay, well, let me Mariah Carey. What's the first one? Someday. Someday. Okay. You know, should I listen to this while on video? It'll come through my headphones, so you won't be able to hear it. This is probably all the better. Right? I don't want to get copyright strikes or whatever. This song, I do not recognize. Mariah I carry honey? What about this one? I kind of dislike how these songs don't start until quite far into the video. I do not recognize this song either. <laughs> this is uh, so far not going so great. All right, let's try Hero. Okay, this one I know. This one I know. <laughs> Fantasy? Uh, I feel like... Do I recognize this one? You know, this one sounds familiar too. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah. Obviously Mariah Carey is like a legitimate superstar. Whose voice I really, really like, obviously. Uh, Hero and Fantasy, those are the two that I recognized. I think, yeah, Always Be My Baby and One Sweet Day, I would also recognize. This is Boys to Men, right? Yeah. But, didn't know the other two, Honey and Someday. Should I see, like, her discography and how well? How well they did? Singles discography? Were they all singles? Someday reached one. <laughs> to be fair, when I was two years old. Uh, here I reached one. Here I recognized. Fantasy reached one in the US also. Which I recognized. Honey also reached one. Okay, so these are all... Yeah, chart topping hits. Um, yeah, it's a... It's, uh, it's a nice tribute to Mariah Carey. All of these one day chart topping hits. Someday soon, Hero for Hire. I didn't recognize that. Mostly because I also, if you have watched this channel, you know that I don't really do comic book stuff either. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice tribute puzzle. Mariah Carey is a legitimate star. I, uh,. It's not really in my wheelhouse theme-wise. Um, I do feel like these are some striking black square patterns, though. It feels like we're playing Tetris or something. Yeah, and this triple stack here of themers is impressive. But uh, let's uh, look through the rest of this thing. Uh, Eric Agard also writes really good clues. Um, think of him mostly as a themeless person. He also does crossword puzzles. I think he's the editor at the New Yorker, and he writes a bunch of those puzzles too. No, no, he's the editor at USA Today. I think that's right. Salutes with flutes. Nice little rhyme. Not anything particularly tricky, but you have peps up and first up. That is actually is somewhat noticeable. Alyssa Thomas. Alyssa Thomas. Did she go to UConn? No, she plays for the Connecticut Sun. Where'd she play college? Maryland. Uh, Three-time All-Star. Drafted in 2014. Alright. All-time leader of the Maryland Terrapins. But I still haven't forgotten the Mar Maryland Terrapins for leaving the ACC. Yeah. Hollow Hollow. It's a Filipino dessert. Like a shaved ice dessert. Correctly spelled Halu Hollow, actually. Yeah, quite delicious as well. 
That's nice. Ento. I don't know much about entomology. Maybe they use that abbreviation in their field. We do have this uh, crossing countries referenced by capital, but of course this crossing is not tricky. But that is a lot of geography in that corner. Lossy, sure. Oreo O's. Are, are Oreo O's back? I know that you can. You couldn't buy them. In 2017, Post Cereals announced that it would restart production of Oreo starting June 23rd and continue production indefinitely. Okay, so it's still. You can buy Oreo O's. I haven't. <laughs> haven't bought Oreo O's in a long, 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 long time. Shug Avery. Interesting. I've never read the color purple. Maybe that's quite embarrassing. This is a cute clue. Per over coffee. Nice phrase too, cat cafe. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like uh, this is a, sort of a wide ranging corpus that Eric Eggard draws on. Including comic books, which is not really my thing, but you know, time wise, for a sort of uh, a theme that's really not in my wheelhouse, ended up with the Tuesday ish time. So, if it shows he knows what he's doing, Kuna Matata, no problem in Swahili. All hat and no cattle. Yeah, that one I didn't know. What does that mean? It's like a fake cowboy? Tend to talk boastfully without acting on one's word. Yeah. I see. It comes from people wearing cowboy hats as fashion, but are not cowboys. Interesting clue. So I also learned something there. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice tri trivia puzzle as far as trivia puzzles go. Normal-ish Tuesday time. And, uh, yeah. Let me close everything down. Come back with the plus word. Alright. So here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Plus Word is free to play. It's like British mini crossword meets Wordle. You can learn something British along the way, sometimes. So whenever it loads, we'll uh, we'll get into it. For some reason, it always takes a little bit of time. Oh, must be temporarily down. Let's try that again. If it's down, there we go. Okay, those are Imams and Impel, somewhere in Florida, Miami, West London area, not sure. This is Micah, maybe? More backward at coming forward. Uh, Shire? Oh wait, I, I read this wrong. This is Micah. What is this one? Dull, lusterless, Matt. Okay, this is Shire. Uh, I, I think it might be this. This one. Addy, Emote, and Liner. Okay. I don't know why there. An A here. Angry. Alright. So we do have a area of London reference here. West London area. Acton. Pie or a small flat cake. Looks like an ocean liner. Kind of a funny clue on, on Miami, just just somewhere in Florida. Nice clue on Shire, though. Uh, yeah, so I guess we should look up Acton in London. It's a town and area in West London. It's 10 kilometers west of Charing Cross. It's within Greater London. Is it also... um? This is probably always true. It's also a, a city in, in, in Massachusetts. <laughs> you know, given that, yeah, it is. It's like, it's, it's like there's Acton Boxborough or something, isn't there? Yeah, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. I don't know why I know that, though. <laughs> no idea, but okay. Well, everything in Massachusetts is, is named after British places, like Boxborough, I'm sure. 
that true? <laughs> Foxborough, England. Let's see. Oh no, just Massachusetts is all I'm getting. Anyway, uh, before we go, let's just take a look at the leaderboard for tomorrow and also pull up the secret leaderboard where we've got stickers. Shout out to stickers with whom I had dinner last night and Orioana. Both slightly slow today, I feel like, compared to normal. We've also got Ruthann and Delor on the secret leaderboard. Shout out to all of you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Wednesday crosswords. See you then.